In the uh, Cottonwood assignment, you are instructed on each of the worksheets to use formulas wherever you can. And this is a good practice to use when creating a spreadsheet because we would want this spreadsheet to work whether our balances are debits or credits, um, whether we change a journal entry on the journal entries tab, we want the numbers to flow correctly through to the trial balance tab and, and so on. And so, for example, on the journal entries page, you should be able just to enter the account number, let's use 1001, to get the account title in return, which the account title for 1001, if we look on the beginning balances tab, is cash. So we would want to type 1001 in column C and have the word cash show up here in column D. It doesn't make sense to have to type that out every time. So the way that we're going to do this is I'm going to use a VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup. We're going to look up the value that's in cell C11, which in this case is 1001. And I'm going to use the trial balance uh, worksheet as my um, lookup range or my table array, I guess they call it here. I'm going to use columns A and B because uh, the trial balance page or the beginning balances page would work in this case. Both contain all of the account numbers and all of the account titles. Um, Note that because we're looking up the account number, the account number has to be in the first column or we're going to get nothing in return. We'll do a comma. We want to return the value that's in column 2 because we want um, what's in this column here. We don't want to return. If we put a 1 in, it'll just bring us back the account number, which we already know that. And then remember, always end your VLOOKUP function with the false. Um, as I mentioned in the sample screencast, demonstrating this function. There's only one time in my entire career that I've used true, and that was for a pretty special um, outcome. So, you know, almost always, I mean, I can't, always, can't say always, but um, false is the way to go on this. And then if we hit enter, you'll see that it returns the value cash. And if we change this to 2001, it changes to accounts payable. Um, all it's doing is going to that table and bringing back whatever. Now, if we type in a a typo, we get an NA. Okay, that's an error. Also, put that back to 1001. If we fill this down, if the cell is blank in column C, we get an NA. And so to avoid getting that NA, um, you can make a change to your formula. And so I'm going to hit F2 to edit my formula here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy everything except the equal sign. And I'm going to put an put this VLOOKUP inside of an IF function. And so I'm going to say IF, and then I'm going to say IS NA. Okay, so in other words, if the VLOOKUP is returns this, this NA error, then I want it to put nothing. So I'm going to put quotes in there twice. So if that value is true, put nothing. If it's false, meaning it's not an error, then let me do Control V to paste in what I copied before. Then I want it to actually do the VLOOKUP. Okay, and now if I fill this down, you'll notice that the cells appear blank, and I can even copy it up to here. But now if I go down here and type 2001 or um, what's another account number, let's say 1101, it brings it in. But this allows me to fill down the function even where there's blank cells in column C. And so that's how I would write the VLOOKUP function on the journal entries table. Again, you could have used your beginning balances uh, tab as your table array. Uh, I just chose to use the trial balance tab. Um, either one works fine. They both have exactly the same information, actually. So either way will work. If you do have questions, by all means, post them on D2L. And good luck on this assignment.